Hello everyone, in this video you will see phase detection in Raspberry Pi with DLIV using Python. So let's get started. So at first we have to get into the Pi, for that I am using GNC viewer but you can use direct HDMI connection also. So here I am going to uh, use webcam and uh, for the phase detection. But you can also use Raspberry Pi camera. So I will show you both the ways. So basically how to use Raspberry Pi camera and how to use webcam. Okay. In the code we will show, I'll show you both. Okay. So now at first let, uh, let me show you the code. So you will find the code in my GitHub repository. I will put the link in the description so that you can download that from there. Okay. So let me copy the code here. And uh, let me explain you the code, how it works. So let me save this. Save as face dot pi. Yes. Okay. So basically, as you can see here, we only need three libraries. Basically, emotils, DLIP, and CV2. In between this, installing emotils is very much easy. So what we have to do is you just need to write pip pip three install emotils. So here I am using Python three emotils. Okay. Sorry, emotils and so in my case, I have already installed that, but uh, you can just install this by this command. Okay. Now to install CB2 and DLIB, I have two separate videos. So if you go to my channel, you will find that I have two separate videos for them, installing DLIB and installing OpenCB in Raspberry Pi. So you can go through these two videos to install OpenCB and DLIB. Okay. Uh, so you at first install these two libraries and then uh, you can just continue. So in my case, I have already installed those libraries. So if you see Python 3 uh, import cv2 and import DLIB, as you can see, I have installed both libraries. So you install them first and then we can continue. Now the first thing we have to do here, we have to initialize the detector. So in DLIB, we have the frontal phase detector. So it's a very accurate for phase detector. And it's more accurate than uh, OpenCV's Harker Skate. Okay, but it's uh, it has some disadvantages also. So we'll talk about all these things while we'll use this in Raspberry Pi. So after this, we are just printing a line like it's just starting phase detection. And then these two lines are quite important. If you want to use the webcam, in that case, we have to use the first line. If you want to use the Raspberry Pi camera, you have to use the second line. So as you can see in the first line here, we are just uh, Defining the video, we are just saying a video stream is RC0 dot start. So here is RC0 because I am I have a single webcam in my Raspberry Pi and I am using that. But if you have like more than one Raspberry Pi, uh, more than one webcam, in that case you can change the number. For example, if you have two webcams and you want to use the second webcam, you can just write is RC equal to one, and that will be just fine. Okay, and so but here I will use zero. And if you want to use as well camera, you can just comment this line. And you can use the second line uh, here. So here is video stream. Use pi camera is equal to true dot start. Okay. So basically, if you use this line, it will use the Raspberry Pi camera. Okay. Like this, you can use Raspberry Pi camera or webcam, whatever you want. Then here we were giving it some time, that giving some time to the camera so that it can initialize. As you know, camera takes some time to initialize. Then here we have an infinite loop. So here what we are doing is we are basically reading frames from the video stream. Then we are resizing the frames. So here the width is 450. So I am uh, making it 450 because the smaller the image will be, it will be easier for the Raspberry Pi to process it. Then we are converting the frame to grayscale. And then finally we are passing the grayscale image to our detector. And if our detector find faces in it, it will give us a list which is called legs. So what is Rex? Let me explain you using an image. So, <clears throat> so here in this image, as you can see, so basically you can consider this image as a frame. Okay. So basically our Pi is reading all the frames from the video stream. And whenever it gets a frame where it finds a face, it returns us the uh, rectangle. Okay. So basically the rectangle consists of the or consists this face. Okay. So like this, if we have more than one face, it will give us more than one rectangle. And that's why the name of this like it's called Rex. Okay, so basically Rex contain all the faces in an image. So if an image consists of 10 faces, then the Rex will contain 10 
basically 10 rectangles okay rectangles means the coordinates of the rectangle okay and then from the rex as rex is a list of faces we can just consider it as a list of faces that's why from that list of faces we are just taking a single rect at a time and we are processing that that means that if we have a number of faces here at a time we are just taking a single face and we are processing that so basically inside the rec so basically if you see uh, here inside the rec we are from here we are extracting four things which is x1 y1 x2 y2 now here x1 y1 means this point and x2 y2 means this point okay because as you know in OpenCV, if we have these two points we can easily just uh, draw this rectangle okay that's why just we are using this for like rec dot left top right button and using this we are just getting these coordinates and we are getting the, those two points then finally here we are using the cv dot rectangle function to draw that border i mean draw that like rectangle you can say so basically we are passing the color from frame then we are passing these two points okay so that like uh, so basically this this point and this point okay we are passing these two points and here i am mentioning the color as blue so as you know in as in uh, opencv it's not rgb is bgr so b stands for blue green red so here i am mentioning that i want a blue border and here too is the width of the border okay so you can just customize this thing according to your needs and finally we are showing the frame and we are also saying that uh continue this until we press q so when we will press q it will stop the whole process okay and then we, it will also after pressing q it will also destroy the windows and it will stop program will stop okay so like this from the video screen we will detect phases now let me uh, run this code in our raspberry pi and show you how it is working okay so uh, <clears throat> let me go to desktop and let me create a new file nano face dot i okay not face of i face detect dot i and let me copy the paste the code okay and let me save using control x and y and now we are ready to run this code face detect dot i let me run this and uh, as you know okay and as you can see it is just working fine so let me show you so as you can see there is no one and as i have already told you so it is very much accurate and it will generally it doesn't gives you false detection so it will only show you the rectangle whenever it finds a face so with python or uh, like open series open uh her cascade sometimes it gives you wrong prediction like there is no phase but still it will say you hey there is a phase but with dlib it never happens with dlib is very much accurate there is a little bit latency and the latency will uh, decrease if you use regular camera so it will decrease a little bit but still there will be a latency because in dlib is not that much fast this is the disadvantage and as you can see that uh, for little bit side phase it works pretty well but if you just like for this kind of image it will not work okay because as i have already told you this is for frontal faces okay and hard cascade also doesn't work in these situations but still uh this is very much accurate and uh, okay and latency is not that much i think and still is raspberry by 3 with raspberry by 4 it will be much fast much faster i think <clears throat> okay so if we just press q it will stop so this is how this works now the disadvantage obviously the latency i think with raspberry by 4 it will <coughs> decrease little bit and the uh, side face so it doesn't detect the side face pretty well so in another video i'll show you how to solve this uh, problem okay and uh, i will uh, give you the links of all these codes and uh, these videos in my description so that you can go through them and please subscribe to my channel because in future i'll show you more this kind of videos and uh, like the video and thank you